Greetings, folks, and welcome to today's show. Our guest today is uh, His Honor uh, Mayor Curley, uh, Lane Curley, which uh, is quite well known. Lane's been in public service here for quite a number of years. So, uh, Lane, welcome. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Pleased to be here. Uh, well, generally speaking, uh, what's what's the situation in Tullahoma? Are we healthy and happy and stuff like that? Well, Tom, I think we are. Um, there's just a lot of good things going on in Tullahoma right now. I, hundreds of people have heard me say over the years, it's just a great day to be in Tullahoma. And I think it is a good day to be in Tullahoma. Okay. So we've got, um, you know, a lot of what I think people measure a community on is its economic vitality. And um, retail sales are up. Unemployment is at record l levels. Uh, something close to 97% of the folks in Tullahoma are employed. Um, uh, we, we've got some industrial expansions that are under consideration right now. So, um, under consideration. That's correct. Ah, well. So okay. there's a lot, of, just a lot of exciting things going on. Yeah, maybe we could, maybe we could talk a little bit about that uh, down the road. Okay. Well, with that, folks, let's take a short commercial break, and we'll come back and go some more. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. The current mayor says he needs four more years to clean up the debt he inherited. Really, Gary, the primary obligation during David Pennington's terms was to benefit our schools. The people of Coffee County voted in a referendum to improve and build more schools. Were the people of Coffee County wrong? David Pennington doesn't think so. I support quality schools for our students and teachers. The other debt was from building a new jail. The state of Tennessee mandated that we build a new jail. Was the Coffee County Commission wrong to follow state law? David Pennington doesn't think so. Think of the enormous cost if we'd waited for the state of Tennessee to close our jail. We would have to pay other counties to house our prisoners. Taking care of our schools and our jail was the right thing to do. Vote for the candidate who believes in doing what's right for Coffee County. Vote for David Pennington for Coffee County Mayor. We're back, folks, and we're talking today with uh, Mayor Lane Curley. Uh, we want primarily today to learn about our new city administrator, and uh, we'll do that. But uh, first, there was a a little bit of controversy kicked up over the uh, final selection of the uh, city administrator. And uh, so we want to talk to the mayor a little bit about that. He was, uh, he was in the middle of that. Uh, and Lane, let me start by asking you to uh, just explain to the folks what the process was that we go through to, to uh, recruit somebody like the city administrator. Sure. First, a shout out to our longtime city administrator, Jody Baltz. You know, Jody right. Baltz was the city administrator for Tullahoma for uh, 19 and a half years, did an excellent job, and he announced his retirement to me a couple of months ago. So that's what triggered the process. Right. The, the typical tenure for a city administrator is between three and four years. And so the fact that Jody was here and served the community well for 19 and a half years, I think is a testament to, to him and his, and his skills as a city administrator. People sometimes think of me as a manager of city government, and I'm not a manager of city government. I'm a community leader. The police, fire, public works, HR, parks and rec, finance, they all report to the city administrator, not to me. Okay? Right. And I take every advantage to clarify that. Um, so, so anyway, Joe, Mr. Ball did an excellent job. So when he announced his retirement to me a couple of months ago, that triggered a process to, to, um, to hire a new city administrator. And so um, 
we, we uh, asked for help from an organization called MTAS, Municipal Technical Advisory Service. It's part of UT's University of Tennessee system. They provide that service at no charge uh, to communities. And they provide lots of services. This is just one small piece of what they do. But you had locally a five-member committee. That's I correct. Believe, and yeah. so I, I met with a young lady named Hannah Rogers, and she's the MTAS consultant for this area. And so we talked about a number of different scenarios as to how to go about doing this. But, but yes, uh, one of the things that we talked about was for each of the aldermen to suggest uh, someone that had some degree of management or leadership experience that would, uh, would agree to uh, volunteer their time through, through this process. And so that was done. There were five people selected, all good people, all honorable people, proud of the group. Um, and, and so we th then th the next step was to uh, to advertise this, and that was done, and collected. I'm thinking close to 50 applications. 45 for, for, number yeah, I saw, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, some number of applications from people. Some very qualified. Some not right. qualified, as, as is typically the case when you yeah. uh, advertise. And so the five-person group went 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 through that group, and they they narrowed it. Um, and and uh, then they went, then they uh, selected, my recollection is about half a dozen people. They did video interviews. Right. Uh, several of the people were from out of state, so they did video, video interviews. And then they, they uh, narrowed that group to three or four people. Um, and so that's generally how the, the process worked. And, and, uh, and three or four did not include Chief Blackwell. That's correct. And, um, I put him in the group. Um, I, it, I, I felt as though we had asked him to, to serve as the interim city administrator uh, several months earlier. He had done an excellent job. He had done everything asked of him and more, frankly. He, he suggested several initiatives. He uh, d d did all that was expected of him and more. I felt as though it would frankly be an insult to him if we didn't at least give him the opportunity to, to interview amongst the group uh, of the aldermen. And so the mayor and the aldermen are the decision makers, okay? And so that's, that's what I did. I simply put him, I put him in that group to be, to be okay. interviewed. That group had uh, two folks from uh, Florida. Correct. And uh, you decided to eliminate them on the basis of what logistics and culture or something like yeah, that. So um, what, yeah, what, what, what yeah. was the deal there? Sure, I'm not suggesting that those two individuals from Florida were not qualified. I never met them. I don't know, but I felt as though um, call it culture, call it whatever you want to. To, to bring someone from Florida to Southern Middle Tennessee, who they, where they had never been except maybe driving through on a vacation, and then plop them down. Would their skills translate to Tullahoma? Probably so. Yeah, I mean, they, they were professional managers. Probably would have, but there's a risk anytime you bring somebody from 500, 1,000 miles away, plop them down in a community, and they know nothing about uh, Tullahoma. Sure, they'd gone on and looked at videos about Tullahoma, but did they know Tullahoma? No, of course not. And that's no fault of theirs, but they've never even been here before. So um, they knew nothing about the people of Tullahoma. They didn't even, you know, they didn't know who the governor, you know, they, and the players in, in, in Tennessee and Tullahoma, they didn't know. So well, that was my reason for doing that. There's kind of an obvious question there, uh, and that would be why as part of the criteria when you set up the uh, recruitment process, you just didn't limit it to Tennessee. No, I, yeah, that was out of state folks. I, I made a mistake early on by not telling Hannah Rogers, the young lady that helped, that, that I was only interested in regional candidates. If someone uh, from Florence, Alabama had made the top list, that would have been fine with me. Or yeah. Loudoun, Kentucky, or Morristown, Tennessee, or Forest City, Arkansas. That so, was fine with somewhere me. Somewhere bordering, huh? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. that, it, because they, they, underst 
you know, I felt as though they would understand, you know, Tennessee better than someone from Southern Florida. P plus, um, we, we hired an economic development person from East Tennessee even, brought him to Tullahoma, did a bang up job. He, he and his family were excited to come to Tullahoma. After 11 months, his wife never would come to Tullahoma. And so he went back. There's just a risk anytime you bring somebody in. Now, could the two from Florida have overcome that risk? Possibly. Absolutely, they could have. But why do that when we had two very qualified people right here close to home that understood Tullahoma? One of them lived in Tullahoma and loves Tullahoma. So that was the decision that I made. Well, that was the difference between you and the committee uh, on the, you say two qualified, that includes the chief. And the committee had decided he didn't quite measure up, so they hadn't included him. That's correct. So. Looking, at paper, looking at paper, the two from Florida met the qualifications. Had Chief Blackwell uh, not served as city administrator, that's, that's correct. But again, during the, during the very short, I will admit, two or three months that he served as interim city administrator, did an excellent job. And I have no reason to believe that if he was selected, would have continued to do an excellent job. Okay. So when you look at paper, and they, they had the 45 applications right there in front of them, simply by looking at the sheet of paper, well, he's not been a city administrator, mark him off the list. Yeah. And, and that wasn't fair to me. So you wound up uh, with two candidates, Chief Blackwell and the young lady from Murfreesboro. Jennifer Moody. And then uh, the chief had the, uh, the inside of the good grace, I'm not sure what, but anyway, he decided to withdraw. So you wound up with uh, one candidate from uh, Murfreesboro who was, uh, everybody felt was eminently qualified. And you went ahead and presented her to the board. That's correct. Uh, right. And uh, she was uh, unanimous, so, unanimously selected approved. by acclamation. That's correct. And so we're in the process now of negotiating the employment contract with her. And um, hopefully that will be resolved in the next week or two. And she will start sometime, probably the end of August. She needs to turn in a notice to her current employer. And then I think she wants to take some time off to look at some. Maybe, I, I'm not sure, vacation maybe and stuff like that. Yeah, well, that a little break. we understand it. It would be a good idea to get some vacation before she sure. starts a new job. She'd be a little fresher maybe. So, okay. And, um, and she's excited about Tullahoma. She uh, is somewhat familiar with Tullahoma. So she's, she's looking forward to, to the work here. And I think she'll do an excellent job. Yeah. And I've told her so. I, I told her point blank. I will do everything I can as mayor for her to be successful as city administrator. Well, on, uh, on paper at least, uh, she certainly looked like she had uh, good qualifications, and we'll talk some about that. So, well, tell you what, folks, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a short commercial break, and uh, we'll talk some about Miss Moody. Hello, I'm Gary Cordell, your Coffee County Mayor. I want to speak to you personally about the commitment I made to the citizens of Coffee County four years ago that if elected, I would serve our county with honor and integrity. I pledge to work hard to give 100%, to be effective and efficient in managing your county resources. I want to take this opportunity to assure the citizens of Coffee County that our county's financial condition is much stronger now than it was four years ago. We've had no property tax increase in the last four years, and our operating reserve fund balance has tripled. The most important question you must ask yourself when you walk into the voting booth is simply, who's best qualified to lead our county forward at this critical time? I have over 40 years of business management and leadership experience to best lead Coffee County. Much has been accomplished in the last four years, but we've only just begun. Coffee County, let's stay on track. I would appreciate your vote in the August 2nd general election. Thank you. Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has proudly served your auto rental for over 30 years. Check out this huge selection to choose from. Small car, mid-size car, full-size car, crossover vehicle, SUV, minivan, pickup trucks, 12 and 15 passenger vans. Whether big or small, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has them all. 
Stop by our two locations to serve you, Tullahoma and in Winchester. And remember, my question is, why rent anywhere else? It's time for every family and business in Tullahoma to go green and recycle. Tullahoma Public Works makes it simple and easy to recycle. Just place your recyclable materials, paper, plastic, aluminum, and cardboard beside your garbage container on the same day your garbage is picked up. Your recycled materials don't have to be in a fancy container. Recycling is not only the right thing to do, it makes sense. Recycling pays. Paying to bury our garbage costs each of us. Please do your part. Let's go green, Tullahoma, and recycle. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. We're talking today, folks, with uh, Mayor Lane Curley, and uh, we have a fairly significant uh, personnel event uh, taking place, and that is uh, we have a new city administrator coming on board. Uh, uh, you recall uh, Jody Baltz uh, retired a couple months, three months ago, and uh, so we have a new one who is a Miss Jennifer Moody, and uh, we want to find out uh, some more about her. Uh, we'll give her a chance to uh, get acquainted and somewhere a couple of months down the road we'll have her on the show and and uh, be able to meet her personally. But meanwhile, let's find out. Uh, Lane, tell us about her. What is, what's her background? What are her credentials and stuff like that? She, uh, her, uh, her name is Jennifer Moody. Uh, she most recently has been the assistant sen uh, city administrator of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. So she's been, and she's been there for three or four years. So right. she's been through an awful lot of the challenges that Murfreesboro has, and, and, and good things that have happened in Murfreesboro for the past several years. I'm sure her, her fingerprints are on a lot of that. Uh, they're organized a little bit different in Murfreesboro. She actually had half a dozen departments reporting to her. There was another assistant city administrator and another half a dozen departments reported to him and then they had the city administrator. So uh, she comes to us with a nice bit of experience. She was the assistant city administrator for Columbia, Tennessee for several years. And then somewhere through this process, and I forget the timing exactly, but she earned a couple of years fellowship uh, and, and she worked with, I think, four or five communities in Middle Tennessee doing a variety of things. So she comes to us with some good experience uh, and, and good management experience, good leadership experience as well. So I think she'll, uh, and, and she, she, she's been to Tullahoma uh, several times and um, has, has, I think, hit it off well with all the aldermen. She and I have an excellent relationship so far. We've met privately on numerous occasions and talked. And um, I, I think she'll continue the tradition that we've had in Tullahoma of just excellent management at, at City Hall. Yeah. You keep referring to her as assistant administrator in these other places. They all have city managers. That's correct. How come we don't have a city manager instead of an administrator? I've just always referred to it as city administrator in the code. I think it refers to both, actually. As far as I know, it's the same position. I mean, it's just well, a yeah, different that's, title. That's what I thought, yeah. <coughs> well, but yeah. I don't usually think of administrators having uh, people reporting sure, to sure. them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, but anyway. no, the, I, the city administrator of Tullahoma has about 150 people reporting. And as I mentioned earlier, in police and fire and public works and parks and rec, finance, HR. Um, so it's a it's a tough job in Tullahoma. Yeah, as, as uh, in any any spot. So, but she understands that. Yeah. Education background. Do you remember that by chance? Uh, I don't. But she's got a. I don't remember the the university. But uh, she does have a master's degree in uh, in public administration. That's correct. Yeah. Right. And it's in uh, public administration of some. some That's correct. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, very good. Uh, so you got a start date. Uh, Toward the end of August, hopefully. That's correct. Uh -huh. 
And uh, you got a salary uh, picked out for yet? In, in the advertisement, I put anywhere from ninety to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and uh, so we'll probably be towards the top end of that somewhere. Um, it's a, a people. Most people um, in in Tullahoma and in other communities don't fully appreciate, I think, the job of the city administrator. Um, first of all, you've got 150 people that either directly or indirectly you're responsible for, plus another hundred part timers during certain seasons, um, and it, it the job is really a, a grind. I, I mean. Um, in a 30-minute stretch, you can have the police chief come to you and with a very serious undercover kind of situation that they've got to make a decision on. And then five minutes later, you might have uh, an, a, an, an what I call an opportunity call where a business person will call and say, I'm thinking about investing in Tullahoma, sort of walk me through that. Yeah. And then 10 minutes later, somebody walk in your office and say, so-and-so didn't show up today. I've got to have some help and so-and-so. So, and it's just like, and you're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you've got to be prepared. You know, plus there, fortunately, we don't have community emergencies very often, but occasionally we do. And so typically the city administrator and myself sort of um, work us through that, whatever the community uh, emergency might be. So um, I don't mind paying that person well because I know it's a tough job. Yeah. Yeah. And, and other city administrators in communities our size uh, typically will pay anywhere from 120 to 140,000 based on the research that we did. She doesn't have quite that level of 15 years of experience as a city administrator as do some of those other communities where they pay a little bit more. So uh, anyway, that's where we are payment okay. wise. Uh, I don't remember seeing anything about the uh, family connection. Do you know? She does. If she uh, has a family? She does. I've, I've met her husband. Uh, he's an entrepreneur uh, in Murfreesboro, and he will transfer his work to, to Tullahoma. They have a four or five year old son. I, I've not met yet, but uh, yeah. look forward to it. So, uh, yeah, she's just got a nice family. Yeah, very good. And, uh, I suspect maybe our school system may have been some enticement for her. Oh, as well. absolutely! Yeah. yeah, she knew all about the school system even before taking this job. She knew about Light Tube, and and the technology uh, in, in Tullahoma. She knew about the airport. She knew about the school system even before realizing there was an opportunity here. So Tullahoma was on her radar, not in terms of moving here, but just because yeah. of her work in Murfreesboro and in Columbia. She knew about Tullahoma. Right. Okay. All right, and the job comes along. This is all kind of interesting too, you know. Uh, this job comes on with a three-month uh, probation. Yeah. So you give up a job somewhere and come here, <laughs> hoping that you're after three months you're still here. Sure. All right. And and I I feel confident she's been vetted enough. Um, the HR department at City Hall called all of her previous employers and talked to them about that, and, and she she comes very well received. So. I, I mean, I, I don't certainly don't anticipate a problem, but for whatever reason, it's in the code yeah. that there is a three-month probation. Perhaps it's in there because of some previous situations. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, most most every employee is under some kind of probation tenure. Um, but anyway, I don't yeah. anticipate a problem. Well, in a way, you're always on probation. Yeah, absolutely, of, sure. I'm on probation. Definitely you know, keep her, keep yeah. her from getting fired. Sure, down right, the line. Yeah. right. And that's okay. what the employment contract deals with. You know, we've tried to deal with all kinds of situations, in terms of if she were to leave or whoever for calls or not for calls, and you know, all that's defined in the employment agreement. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to run out of time in a minute here, folks. Uh, is there anything else in particular on your on your plate? Well, I, I, one thing let me make clear about it. So let me jump back just a second. Um, you know, sometimes leaders make decisions, and and um, perhaps I was criticized in quarters. Very few people contacted me about it because I, I I think they understand that sometimes leaders make decisions. And so when the five people suggested that Paul not be in that group 
uh, uh, Chief Black will not be in that group. Um, leaders make decisions, and, and I'm sure you, as a manager and leader in your career, um, you took advice from people that worked for you, and I would almost guarantee you, you didn't always take that advice. <laughs> you know, sometimes leaders make decisions because I have a bigger picture kind of thing, not being critical of the five at all, but um, sometimes leaders make decisions that uh, don't, don't always sit well. And that was you. Well, okay, with that, folks, we've run out of time. So we're going to take another break and wrap up. Russell's got your truck, man. Russell's got your truck. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family, and we have sold so many new trucks. We've got over 100 pre-owned trucks to choose from. Any make, any size, any model. It's as easy as going to RussellBarnett.com to check out our pre-owned truck inventory. And remember, why buy your next truck anywhere else? With the best selection anywhere, Russell's got your truck, man. Cool off at Southern Middle Tennessee's newest water park, Tullahoma's Splash Island. Fun for all ages. Three 25-foot water slides, lazy river, fun water features for toddlers, tasty food items available, all this and more. Only $5 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 4 to 9 p.m. Sundays, 1 to 6. Join the fun at Tullahoma's Splash Island. back folks and we've been talking today with Mayor Lane Curley uh, primarily about the uh, new city administrator uh, the, both the process they went through and the fact that she, she has been selected and hopefully will be on board uh, about the end of August. Uh, Lane anything else uh, you want to say strictly to the folks? Well, well Tom as we started out I do believe this is a great day to be in Tullahoma. There are an awful lot of exciting things going on. I'm doing my very best to lead this community to be a world-class community and I'm not sure exactly what that means but in my mind I, I, I'm, I'm, I want us to move in that direction and so we're just taking some little steps you know to get there um, with this get fit Tullahoma and go green Tullahoma and the Arts Council and the Sports Council and the downtown group we've earned recognition there. We're, we're, we're adding. We're going to be adding two new parks to Tullahoma in the next year or two, and so um, there's just uh, our, our school system starts next week, and I know we'll have uh, another uh, excellent year for our, our, our school system. Light Tube continues to add folks um, most every day to the system, so there's just. Uh, we're so fortunate to live in a community like Tullahoma. I think we are unique in, in many ways. And so I have always appreciated the honor of serving as mayor of this community. Uh, it's been 16 years now, and so okay. uh, I enjoy it. Well, uh, Lane, I want to thank you, thank you for taking time to join us. Sure. And uh, we're in a good position, and we're uh, thank you for inviting us into your parlor, folks, and we'll see you next time.